traveling the world with my wife hasn't slowed my love for doing guy stuff. And the one place that I always feel connected to my manhood is in a barber chair. Because I'm getting haircuts, beard trims, and neck shaves in unique places, I wanted to share the experiences with others that appreciate the craft of barbers around the world. Don't worry, I'll show you other cool cultural stuff along the way. These are my world barbershop adventures. Thailand. We're gonna get my boy his head head shaved, a little haircut. For my buddy, that guy there. He needs to get his hair head shaved, so uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're riding on some scooters. Barbers at 16 Barbershop understand this new age of barbering. With badass shop design, very friendly service, and competitive prices, it is an ideal place for both locals and travelers. One of the crew worked as a photographer while we were there taking photos for their social media accounts, which has unreal shots of their haircuts and the barbers in action. Without question, it is the best and cheapest way to market these days. The shop isn't particularly big, but they did a great job in designing it to make full use of every inch. This was my first time seeing a full head shave in person. Got to imagine that it has to make the barber a tad nervous with all that skin in front of him. I've known my boy Chris here for about 20 years. He's hilarious and fun to be around, always cracking jokes. You can see all the activity outside. Pattaya is an electrified city on the east coast of the Gulf of Thailand, about an hour southeast of Bangkok, with a population of about a million. It's vibrant as hell. From sunup to sundown, Pattaya's beaches are constantly active with water sports lovers and sunbathers. After dark, forget about it. The action shifts to the streets and it's nuts. Drinking and partying in hundreds of bars, go-go clubs, and adult entertainment, if you know what I mean. If you can't find it in Pattaya, it can't be found. I 
really dig Kane's style as a barber. You can tell he's serious about his fashion. That custom barber apron, his jewelry, everything matching perfectly, and these guys had some of the best tattoos I've ever seen. Apparently they have a close friend that does all their ink. And don't sleep on that skinny paintbrush he's using for the tight spots. I think Kane's angle here is worth noting. As an outsider to barbering, I underestimate the importance of footwork around the chair. Boxing is a combat sport of Thailand that uses stand-up striking along with various clinching techniques. Muay Thai is now one of the most well-known and practiced martial arts in the world. Those guys are betting on the matches. It is a large part of the event and it's fun to watch the hand signals between the gamblers. Muay Thai is known as the art of eight limbs because it is characterized by the combined use of fists, elbows, knees, and shins. This event was really well produced. Japan, Laos, and Thailand were all represented in the matches. It was crazy intense throughout, with the family members and friends of the fighters sitting in the first few rows. With their pride, record, and money on the line, it got chaotic at times. This Japanese fighter in the black was a stud. The jaw on his opponent was unreal. Dude could really take a punch, but he ends up taking way too many. All right, I found a little side alley in Pattaya, Thailand, outside of the main area. So there's a big, like a big city district. It's kind of outside that, uh, trying to get something a little bit more authentic, smaller shop. And uh, I'm gonna get my beard uh, tightened up and to see what other stuff they got to offer. I'm not gonna touch the hair today, but I'm uh, gonna see what else, what else there is to offer and uh, hopefully get a pretty authentic uh, experience. The, the gentleman that I'm gonna work with, looks like he's been doing this for a pretty long time, so it should be fun.
Chiang Mai? Me, me. Chiang Rai. Yes. Okay, very nice. We haven't been to Chiang Rai, but um, Chiang Mai is really nice. Yeah. A lot of temples. I love Thailand and I love the Thai people. I've been fortunate to travel to the country six times now and every time it has been a great visit. Thailand has world-class healthcare, an improving infrastructure, and beautiful beaches. The Thai people are kind, confident, fun, and hilarious, always knowing how to make travelers feel welcome. There continues to be an increase of foreigners making the wise decision to retire in Thailand. Pattaya is one of the main cities where this is happening. I don't blame them with the tasty food, cheap massages, and some of the best sports bars on the planet. Posters in the back though. Yes, the dude over my ear is pointing a gun. I'm assuming he's an actor, but I don't know for sure. I freaking love the rawness of his posters and photos to show clients potential haircuts. So damn authentic. I've discussed it before, but I'll say it again. The Asian barber culture typically wears a mask during the cut as you see Mu doing here. I'm curious to see if this trend picks up in America as well. You know I'm a big fan of the eyebrow touch-up. surprised by the lack of beard prep. No hot towel or warm water to get the skin ready.
Mu has a client waiting, he doesn't rush the process. He makes sure the final touches are thoughtful. Sometimes these final details can be lost on a barber as they're attempting to flip the chair for the next guest. As a customer, all these small things are real important. The nose hairs clip, eyebrow work, the massage, final touches on the ears. No one will ever say, nah, leave those hairs there. I like my ears filled with hair. All right, so that was a great experience. Traditional barber, 20 years in the business here in Pattaya, Thailand. He's originally from northern, um, near Chiang, Chiang Rai, Thailand. So just to have that level of cut from a real expert, uh, different than the modern barber shops that have a lot of the, the fluff and, and um, other stuff that goes with it, but still an amazing cut. Um, obviously changed my look a little bit. Got more of a goatee going on. But uh, it's uh, still felt like a great cut. Very, very professional, um, faster than a typical barber you're used to because he's just he's good with his profession. He knocked it out quick. We had a chance to see a couple other, uh, a couple other cuts before mine, and he was same. Uh, very professional. Obviously, he's got a lot of local people that go to him because we're in a local neighborhood. Um, and so it was, it was cool. It was just a, a great experience. Obviously, the decor wasn't at, at, a, at a high level. Uh, it's more of a, a traditional neighborhoody type barber shop. Obviously, the, the cut was extremely valuable because it was only 100 baht, which is about three dollars um, US, a little bit more than three dollars US. But it's not a, it's not about the money because, as you know, I, I it's a craft. It's an artistry. Um, it's it's a, a luxury when you go to the barber shop to, to get the, all the things you, that comes with it to get a shave, to get everything lined up. Uh, that that feeling you get. So it's not always about the, the money, but again, it's market driven. So here in Pattaya, there's a lot of barbers. There's a um, there's an opportunity to go to a lot of different barber shops. So there's there's the market. It's it's uh, supply demand, and because there's that, the, the costs do remain low. You know, but it. Sometimes you get what you pay for, but it's it, hopefully the barbershop community continues to value themselves and pushes their prices up um, when they can. Obviously, if you got a lot of supply around you, it gets more difficult to do that. about those two barber visits in Bataya, Thailand. Please comment down below. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos of me and barber shops around the world.